the city of Fort Worth. I'm the project manager for this project. Um, before we begin, I would like to apologize to those that did learn about this meeting uh, on very short notice. Um, we have been uh, trying to navigate, uh, trying to set up these meetings uh, uh, without a communication specialist for a while, but luckily the city has a new specialist. Uh, her name is Laura. She is on the call today and uh, moving forward, she will be helping uh, set up these meetings. Um, specifically to those with the North Fort Worth um, Alliance. Um, those are primarily the people that found out about this uh, such short notice. So we appreciate those that were able to join us. Um, so this is the public uh, community meeting for the traffic signal and pedestrian improvements at the intersection of Beach Street and Ray White Street. Um, this is located in council district number seven. Um, and at this time, I ask if there is anyone from council from the council district joining us, if they could um, uh, introduce themselves. Hi. Oh, hold on. It's Tara in council district four for the time being um, for a few more days. Um, I'm uh, just listening in and thank you for uh, getting the word out and if uh, I'm happy to help distribute any information um, so we can play catch up um, on our end and uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I would like to remind everyone that this meeting is being recorded um, and it will be uploaded to the City of Fort Worth website afterwards. Um, this City of Fort Worth project number is 104001. As mentioned before, my name is Ivan Lopez and the project engineers for this project are HAP Associates. The agenda for the meeting today, uh, we'll go over for uh, the project background um, and then we'll go, I'll explain in detail the design, um, the project schedule. I will give out contact information for the project and then at the end, um, we will um, leave some time to answer questions. A little bit about the project background. Um, so this project um, initiated was initiated through a traffic signal warrant study um, that was completed in 2017. Um, I will talk about that in further detail a little bit later on. Um, but currently, the project is funded by the 2022 bond program, and the objectives of this project are mainly to improve the traffic flow at the intersection, specifically during the peak hours. Um, we're hoping that this will improve the left turning movement, specifically coming um, out of beach. Um, and then we hope to improve pedestrian safety by installing pedestrian actuated signals with push buttons and ADA compliant curb ramps at all four corners. So this is the project location map. Uh, we are talking about the intersection of North Beach Street and Ray White Road. Um, that is south of Golden Triangle Boulevard and north of Heritage Trace Parkway. So this is the current design as it stands for the project. Um, I'll kind of, if everyone can see my mouse, I'll kind of point. Can y'all see my mouse? Can anyone confirm that? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, so we are going to be uh, installing pedestrian curb ramps at all four corners of the intersection uh, with push buttons. Uh, pedestrians will be able to cross all four legs of the intersection. We will be installing traffic signals at all four corners as well. Um, and we will be restriping the left trend lanes um, going north and south. Um, better to reduce the distance required for those left turning movements. Um, to alleviate that, we also will be doing median work and bringing those medians uh, further down. And then as you can tell, kind of pushing them further in so that there is more kind of that deflection for that left turn. Um, we will be installing uh, crosswalk markings on all four corners um, and then along um, going west and east, we will be redoing the pavement markings along that um, to incorporate um, left turn lanes. So a little bit about the signal warrant study that I mentioned previously. Um, so what that means is um, that traffic counts were collected in 2017 
that data is then taken and put into a report and then measured against the signal warrant requirements found in the TMUTCD, which stands for the Texas Manual for Uniform Traffic Control Devices. Um, and that data um, showed that traffic signal warrants one, two, and three uh, were met, which um, recommended that a signalization be taken at this intersection. Um, additionally, we did during the data collection uh, find that there have been about 10 accidents at this intersection from September 2015 to December 2017. Um, and I will mention that between tw uh, 2017 and 2009, there were another additional four uh, accidents at the intersection. This is the current project schedule. Um, as mentioned, we are currently in the design phase. Uh, we do plan on finishing the design um, near the summer of this year. Um, and before we do go into construction, we, we will be holding a pre-construction public meeting sometime in July. Um, during that meeting, we will have the contractor available to answer any questions uh, regarding the traffic control implementation uh, during construction in the area. Um, we do estimate construction to begin um, August 2023 with an estimated duration of about six to eight months. Um, and that will vary uh, depending on how uh, quickly the contractor can secure the materials for the project, such as the uh, traffic signal poles. Currently, we are um, needing right away clips at three of the four corners. Um, and we are in the process of acquiring that and we hope to complete that in June of 2023 before construction begins. Uh, through the design process, we have just, uh, found no utility impacts um, and we do have an estimated construction cost of seven, $779,000. This is the project contact information. Um, as mentioned, my name is Ivan Lopez. I'm the project uh, manager with the city of Fort Worth. And as you can see, my contact information, um, as well as the contact information for the design engineer um, from HAP Associates, Kevin. Um, he is also on the call today to help answer any questions with regards to the design at this intersection. I will make a quick plug for the uh, My Fort Worth app. Um, the, it is available on both Apple and Google. Um, this app allows citizens to um, who, who have requests regarding other traffic signals or other intersections uh, to submit their uh, request uh, to the city, um, as well as you can text hello to the following number, uh, call the city call center, or just go onto the website into the chat box. So those are resources if anyone has um, questions or requests with other intersections. And with that, um, I will open it up for questions. Um, I will go back to the slide where I show the design um, so that everyone can see it. Hi, this is David Smith. I have a question concerning left turn lanes. Um, will this be, a, a, will you have the ability to turn left on a flashing yellow arrow? Um, yes, Kevin. Was that you, Kevin? I think that was someone else, but to, to yes, confirm yes. that response, yes, there will be flashing yellows at these left turn lanes. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you for your question. Uh, my name is... Christian Hamilton, and I, I've been up there for uh, 18 years before North Beach was even thought of where where that particular intersection is. Um, y'all said y'all mentioned there was a traffic study done in 2017. While you're going off of a about four to six year old traffic study, why don't y'all do a new traffic study to 2023? Because 2017 and 2023. We all know there's been more people moved there. Uh, matter of fact, I'm actually sitting at the intersection right now um, on my phone watching it, and there's really not that much traffic. I can pull out from Ray White coming from the fire station direction and shoot straight across and get over. There's really not much traffic coming from Ray Wright 
or the other side's coming from the Crawford Farms development. Um, I'm just, I'm confused of why I spend all that money for an intersection that you mentioned that has had at most 14 wrecks. There's another intersection that's off of Golden Triangle in front of, at 5336 Golden Triangle with roundabouts. There's been more wrecks there than there has been the 14 at the intersection that this project is going to go on. That's the 779. Why is there like, I, in my opinion, like why, why, why would you spend the money for an intersection that doesn't have that much traffic going through it? I'm like sitting at the intersection right now. I mean, if I turn on my camera, you can see there's really not much people at this intersection coming through. The light that's at um, that's at the Eagle Ridge Elementary School zone holds back much of the traffic to allow that. And there's a large gaps, a large gaps of time that you can hop across or go straight across. Thank you for your question. Um, I can let Aziz speak on the, the signal a little bit, but um, I, can, I can talk on that as well if you want. If you want. Uh, yeah, Omar is also with the uh, City of Fort Worth. Um, he can speak on it, um, but I will just mention the. Uh, Signal warrant study is data driven. So, um, as you mentioned, uh, this is a study from 2017. Um, that data was uh, the traffic signal was data supported back then. Um, now, with additional cars, uh, vehicles in the area, I mean, I, I would, it would probably show it even more likely. So we initially got the request at uh, like I think 2017 there, and. Uh, Later years, we also got a request for the signal. It's like we got the request for 19, 21, we got a, another request. So it's like not just a, like one uh, uh, request for the signal at that location we did the study. So we did that and you see keep it's coming. So that's why it's still in the list. I'm actually all for it for this light to happen i my house backs up to this intersection and i have called i mean if somebody would pull my police reports i have called on so many wrecks behind our house and mine and my neighbors we have actually had people run into our backyard i've had multiple people just wreck right into our fence lines take out the whole um stone thing that the hoa puts up i mean it's just been a mess and i get it there might be little bit of traffic um right now right but the majority of the time i mean if it's raining if it's rush hour these cars are still flying out off of ray white into beach like as if the you know this freaking stop sign would never existed and i've been here since 2006. that is actually another issue there like uh there's not good sight distance for the cross street from uh ray white so the the uh, party walls are so close to the intersection the cross still doesn't have the visibility so they can easily make a mistake when they uh, turn out from there uh, that's causing the mostly accident so that's another thing like safety perspective signal is also needed there uh, Aziz and speaking specifically on this because i believe this is the main issue with this intersection I live there, I use the intersection at least 10 to 20 times every day. When you are crossing or making a right turn, you have very poor visibility to see whoever coming on beach. So uh, after, the tra after the signal is installed, will the right turn be allowed or not? Right turn on red, I mean. Right turn on a red will be allowed. But but if right turn on red will be allowed, these fences on the on three of the four corners will limit the visibility. So you, whoever is coming from Ray White making a right turn on beach, if the signal is red and the, the beach street signal is green, there is still a big chance of of an accident. Yeah, I agree with uh, I agree with whoever that was saying that the accident is there's a big blind spot. I mean, I I can barely see around the corner, and I'm having kind of inch out slowly just to even see the go looking towards the Eagle Ridge uh, side of the school zone coming from Eagle Ridge. 
Okay. We'll note that. So yeah, we, we, we can actually yeah prohibit the right turn. Have a sign there. Yeah, right turn will not. No right turn on red. And that's good feedback, and uh, we appreciate that. And that's definitely something we'll we'll look into and see how uh, how we can try to alleviate that concern. Is this light going to affect the engine house thirty seven's response time? Um, signal light will have uh, Opticom devices that actually communicate with the uh, fire truck. So they will quite the priority for them. Well, this Opticom system work because there's a signal right in front of my house at the intersection of Golden Triangle and Rancho Place and Crawford Farms Drive that my church had land bought from bought by the city of Fort Worth is even built and half their Opticom systems don't work. I sit I'm I'm a youth leader at the church and I always see fire trucks having to slow down. And the lights are constantly red, and their lights and si they're like lights and sirens and all that. Is this optimal system going to work at this intersection? I mean, yeah, that this is that is the full intention. Um, you know, there will be testing before the uh, intersection is fully open, so um, we will make sure that it works. Ivan, um, we have few comments on the chat. I'd like to go through them. Um, few in the beginning are that um, about the safety factors that they have seen wrecks at the location and with residents being happy with us installing a traffic signal here. That's good. And then um, mostly these are the comments instead of questions. We just have one uh, comment that's a question. Asking about if we are providing a protected exit to beach from Crawford Farms. Um, so, would you like to answer that? I think we are, but yeah, go ahead, Ivan. Uh, I'm not quite sure on on that actually. Um, Kevin, do you know if we are? Are you speaking to? Uh, it looks like John posted the comment. Uh, as, as far as protected exit, do you just mean, you, you know, that that's kind of the intent of the traffic signal when the beach turns turns red. Everyone on Ray White will be able to then turn out from from Ray White. Um, it, it, is that kind of what you're getting at, John, with that question, or were you asking that's, for something else? That's correct. I, I think we have a lot of traffic that comes from Crawford Farms down through Clear Fork and Heritage. Um, because people don't want to go out to beach because it's it's a, it's a racetrack and you can't turn off of Ray White onto it. So they come actually down through, there's a cut through on Brevet and then go out the light at Alta Vista to go across. Um, and even those there are signs that say no cut through in the mornings, it's it's a constant racetrack on our, on our streets in Clear Fork. So we're hoping this will eliminate a lot of that traffic and let them go out to beach. If that makes any sense. No, I think that makes sense, John, and that's really the intention of kind of what the I'm sure what the Warren study was was investigating, and then really with the the signal in general is to allow you know some some smoother traffic movement through this through this section, and you know in peak hours you're not having the backups that you would normally see uh, school times, you know that that's the whole the whole idea of this traffic signal. So that that would be our our hope as well. Thank you, is, Kevin. Is there going to be uh, traffic cams at this intersection by chance? I don't believe so. Reason why I asked that because, like y'all noted, there's been a lot of wrecks, and like everybody else has noted, they've seen wrecks. Like I think that lady said, she's called and had one whole mean mean times pretty much. Um. It, that's why I'm trying to say, like, is there going to be traffic camps to catch stuff like that? Just in case if we get those random people that don't really pay attention. Yeah, well, the whole traffic. open. Oh, go ahead. Uh, so you're saying uh, traffic camera? 
you're referring? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, PTC camera. And so there, there will be uh, a camera to monitor traffic uh, for operation purpose. Yeah, it will not record the, any video. It will not have that video recording capacity. It's just uh, for uh, real time video for uh, managing the traffic operation whenever needed. So the the goal of the traffic signal installation would be to minimize those uh, those crashes. So hopefully, um, such a thing isn't need wouldn't be needed anymore because um, the traffic signal would uh, reduce those. The reason why I asked that is like another like the light at uh, Crawford Farms Drive and Golden Triangle. There that there was a bunch of there was a bunch of wrecks even with a signal put there. I mean there was cars getting slammed into traffic signal poles and and there there was no cameras to figure out well, who did it who did who did what and this and that and it was causing damage to fences and a car got launched in my church's parking lot one time and and it just it would just yeah if you if 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 what i'm saying make makes any sense yeah and it, it makes sense um but yeah, as mentioned at this time we we there that's not being installed um really and it's a it's a maintenance issue for the city as well there's really no one to monitor those um so that's kind of why but moving forward we'll we'll keep once we install the traffic signal we'll we'll keep monitoring the the signal uh the intersection and, and um if we do continue to see crashes which hopefully we don't you know we we will look into into what else can be done at the intersection? Definitely. Hey, this is Brad. I just want to say thank y'all for doing this. We do appreciate it. Um, I go, I take my child to school and cross that road every single day, multiple times. Um, in the median, at most given times, there can be up to four or five cars in the median at the same time, trying to figure out how to get by. So this is greatly appreciated. So thank you. Thank you for your comment, Brad. Uh, this is David. I got a question on: Is this going to be set by timing, or will it be sensors for for all four directions to to know when to change the signal for the light? It will have sensor all for for all directions. Thank you. Are there any other questions? Comments. Um, I may have missed it from the beginning since I came on late. When do you expect this to get started on? Um, in the summer, um, I will. So I don't misspeak. Um, we do anticipate construction starting in August, um, and it will last about six to eight months. So why the uh, what made y'all pick towards the latter end of the? summer months instead of the beginning because there's a bunch of projects that seem to take forever when it's going towards the winter times with all the weather changes and rain and all that that comes with the weather changes i mean uh that i would think the whole goal is to try to get the project rolling smooth in the hottest times and when you know there's no rain i've worked for many many cities and tarrant county precinct one and three and any jobs we did that were heavy big tear ups we made sure we got done during the heat of the summer and not the latter end of the summer yeah and so that kind of speaks to the duration it's kind of six to eight months um, the contractor will have um, a little bit of flexibility um, and really it comes down to um, how quickly the contractor can procure those um, um, those long lead item uh, items uh, such as the traffic signal poles um, those are in high demand right now so um, it's not like they can just acquire those very quickly. So it'll, it really depends on that. Thank you, Ivan. Looking forward to July's meeting. Thank you. I, I do have one more question. Um, oh, I when you're going into construction, will any of the roads be closed for a period of time or what will construction look like? Um, that'll be answered more in detail during the pre-construction meeting. Um, but we do anticipate having um, at least one lane open in all directions so that the, the uh, we will uh, 
aim to maintain access uh, to this intersection at all times. Um, but there may be, you know, a lane close, um, a sh you know, from time to time to install certain things, but um, the the intersection will remain active. Okay, thank you. Hi, Ivan, this is Tara. Um, I would ask, is there um, after after the meeting today or tomorrow, actually, but um, or whenever you get around to it, can you send me the presentation? I will share with District 7 in case we get questions. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you. Looks like that's all we had from chat. Is there a, is there any chance this is going to cost more than what the projected amount it, it like the 779,000 that they're going to cost the city making our taxes raise if it goes over um i mean we're not guaranteed that price correct um but the Flexibility, there is a contingency built in place. So um, if there are, um, if it is slightly over, um, it there are protocols in place to, to take care of that. How uh, you said there's plans of being uh, restriping the left uh, left turn lanes. Is there any going to be any more striping done along beach with that striping, or just that section? Yeah, I believe we are just um, restriping, uh, kind of refreshing all the pavement markings on the intersection, and about I think 200 feet in each direction, um, and that's the extent of the project. The additions, the new additions to the striping would be the crosswalks. And then if you can see my mouse, these kind of um, chevron um, marked out spaces um, on the pavement, those will be new as well. So pretty much it's going to be like a miniature version of the Golden Triangle and North Beach intersection. Yes. Do you have any more questions in the chat or from the no, anyone? No. One comment, just a second. Hoping this light will slow down traffic on beach. Um, I think it will, <laughs> at least um, <laughs> it will give um, safer access for people living on or coming in and out of Revite to, uh, you know, make the turns on Beach Street. Yeah, being out there myself, um, it can be very, um, you have to be pretty brave to, Take a left turn going west or east or coming out of the west or east side. <laughs> that is all we had, Ivan. Perfect. Well, thank you all those for who joined the call that are still on the call. Thank you, Chris, for all your participation. We greatly appreciate it. Um, and like I said, this is being recorded, so we will upload this to the city website and um, um, have a rest. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you guys. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks so much, y'all.
Hmm. <laughs> 